Why isn't it raining in California? Yeah, you know, uh, the climate is, I mean, drought, it's, not like, it's not as though droughts have no precedent in the history of the world. Uh, but what's more important than that it's not raining is there, you know, there's a consumption of clean water, potable water from the water table that's not being replenished and it's being pulled out at a faster rate than it's returning. And that's a recipe for disaster. And so, so we need to think more sort of, dare I use the word, holistically about systems that, that, that manifest on this earth. And, and, and that's a relatively new way to think about the world. But what do we do about it? Stumped, huh? Yeah, I don't, I don't have easy answers. I think we need to be better shepherds of our activities and our behaviors. If you're watering lawn, your lawn, do you need clean, potable water to water your lawn? No. You could use the water that came out of your dishwasher. Your, your grass is not going to care. But we've set up a system that does not intelligently use even the limited water that's available. Bigger question, why isn't it raining? All I can tell you is that in the world, what we're going to find is more extremes of weather. Okay, when it rains, it's going to rain heavier. When it's not going to rain, it's going to rain less than it ever didn't rain before. And as these extremes, we have to, that's kind of the new normal we're going to have to grow accustomed to. And all evidence points to the fact that it is human-caused influence on the ecosystem, on the, on the climactic system. So cold weather will get colder, warm weather will get warmer, wet weather will get wetter. Yeah, yeah. So the extremes, you'll start visiting the extremes. And what happens is, as, as, the, as the temperature rises, you, more moisture from the ocean gets lifted into the atmosphere. And generally, when we think of weather, we think of storms and things. And so now that when you have a storm, there's more moisture to feed that storm. There's more heating to drive the convective cells. And so the storm gets more ferocious. And, and you know, we had flooding down here in New York. By the way, this change that people are talking about, it's not one day the ocean will just sort of come in and stay there on your doorstep. No, that's not how it happens first. It happens first where there would be a storm where there'd be a tide surge, and previously, the tide surge never really, you know, maybe came over the sidewalk or the boardwalk, but that was about it. It went away. Now the tide sur surge makes it into the streets. And that's your first indication. These extremes are, th are your first encounter with what will soon be become the new normal. Hey, guys, Larry here. Thanks for watching me. Be sure to check out some of my other favorite Larry King Now moments right here and tune in to new episodes Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays on demand on Aura TV and Hulu.